All right, let's see how long it takes me to change a serpentine belt. I got it off Amazon. I hope it's all the right size and fits and everything like that. I got a green one. And <clears throat> shouldn't be too crazy. Looks like we will have to remove this hose here first. And make sure we have a little diagram here that kind of tells you which way it's all supposed to go. So I'm just going to make sure that I see all of the things that it's telling me I need to see. Which it is, I see. And uh, so I think we got to remove this, which this is the upper radiator hose, I believe. And I'm sure there's a better tool for this. But this is the one that we got. Oh, ow. Hmm. Okay, got that off. And then we'll just <clears throat> move it out of the way. <clears throat> I don't think there's a bunch of fluid that's going to come out. Oh, yeah. Some. That's okay. I guess that's okay. Maybe we'll put that back on there and then... Let's see. Yeah, we're still good on our fluid, so... What we'll do is we'll take the belt off, the old one off, and then we'll kind of swap it in there kind of quick so that uh, we don't lose a whole bunch of that fluid. This is just a half inch ratchet. And I'm going to put down here in the idler pulley slot. I'm going to try to do this without taking this radiator cap off. I don't think that you need to, but I guess we're going to find out. So that should be in there. And so I can get a little leverage. I'm going to use this to... Oh yeah, that seems to work fine. So we will kind of... <clears throat> there was a clip back there, actually, that holds it. But I don't exactly know where it is. It's down there somewhere. I don't know if I need to. If I need it. Guess this can come off. Get out of the way. Like that. So we'll take the old belt off. Um. Like it's pretty much going to come off easy. Then we'll just take this off. Um, you can see this belt is not in the greatest of shape. You can see it's kind of, that can't be good at all. falling apart. So, I'm going to just compare the new one to the old one. Just make sure that it looks like it's going 
gonna be right. Looks like it's gonna be a little shorter. Maybe this thing's just stretched out. We will hope that is the case. Otherwise, we'll be going to a car fix it place before you know it. So I think we'll just feed this in here like this. We'll take this off and put this back on. So now I'm going to follow what the thing my bobber says which says to go down and around the power steering up over the alternator down around the idler pulley here up and over the air conditioner there Down and around. Let's see, air conditioner. And then back up. So around. Uh, air conditioner. That's the green fast and just down around the tensioner, which is this one. Bring back up here. And then all the way down around the crank. Okay, I'm already confused. Um, that came out just by that, and it should go in that way. So let's see. Water pump in there. Oh yeah, okay. The water pump, and then down and around that way. Okay, okay. So, water pump is going to be a little hard to get to. I probably should have brought a little step ladder. But, me don't have one with me. Water pump and I got you, so you gotta go down and down in there, which I'm not gonna have to get into my work. Guess I am. Let's take.
taking this one off. Give us a little bit of space. And how am I supposed to do that? Am I supposed to go under the truck? You mean to go under the truck? I don't really want to go under the truck though, so. But there might not be a choice. So we're gonna go. If I could reach far enough, which I can, then I can go around there, okay? So let's just double check here. We've got. That's your power steering up around your alternator. Down the idler pulley, which is here. And then up over the air conditioner, which is here. I'm actually going to do the idler pulley last. And then, um, Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna go around that yet. So then, just around this one. No big deal. There. I think I like it so far. But yes, I'm gonna be done with those two. Which that is the. Um, what is that over there? Those are those tensioner. So that's gonna go around here and then back up there. Sure feels short. I think I did it right though so far. But that's got to go down there. Okay. Come on, baby. Work for me. I'm trying to make a video over here. Alright. So that's that. Now we got to. Get that to go underneath there, which is the idler pulley, and that's the tensioner. So, got to go under that. So now we got to use our hefty defty stuff here. And let's see. Get that in there. Let's see if we can give ourselves a little leverage. That is come on, baby, work for me. Okay, that seems good to me. I don't know, but that seems pretty good to me. It's really good to me. No, I'm not cocky. So, I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Took me 15 minutes? Good God, it's a long time. I don't know. She's real tight. Maybe she's not supposed to spin. I don't know. Um, let's see. 
Well, that looks really good. I do know if I start this bad boy, and it's not on very good, it's going to be an expensive little thing. Mm. I think we're good. Should we just start it? See what's up? And we can go ahead and move this back. Why is this? Ow, mother. Don't put your fingers in the hoot nanny. All right, that's where it was before. Let's start this thing and hope for the best. Woo. I'm actually kind of scared. I don't think I should be. It's, it's a little tight, but maybe it's supposed to be. I don't know. Here goes nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. Looks good to me. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with that. I might need to add a little bit of uh, Freon or whatever you call it. Refrigerant at some point, but I'm gonna go with that is good. 